selling JIJ. 广州浴室大部分的人大概卖的还是翡翠,还是缅甸的翡翠。And in places you see so much JIJ, and it's almost like a discotheque. 看到这么多的浴，感觉在整个浴室的布置的高包装，好像是在迪斯科舞厅里面。But back in 2009, as I wandered around the market, I came to an area where there were some people who were obviously not Han Chinese, and they were selling a stone that was obviously not Burmese jadeite. 那我在巷子里面都逛了一次以后，我走到巷子的后面，我看到一个地方呢，我发觉呢，很明显的它并不是汉人啊，这个产品啊，销售者并不是汉人，而他手上的东西呢，感觉也不像是来自于缅甸的
very concerned about this. So Jason took me to the hospital where I had my eye examined to see if the stinger was still in my eye. Uh, thankfully it was not. So that was my trip to the Taiwan Jadelines. <laughs> and I don't know how you say this in Chinese, it's a colloquialism in English, but the bee's knees is something very special, and this was not the bee's knees. You know, ever since I learned about the Chinese jade, I always wanted to visit the source. And so I kept telling Jason and Adam, why don't we make a trip to Xinjiang, to Hertian, where we can see the real Chinese jade, where it comes from. Of course, this is a very, very special place. Um, and for those of you who don't know where it is, it's located in the far west of China. And this is part of the old Silk Road. In fact, it was the traders that came from Xinjiang that first brought the jade into China proper. You can see these different silk roads and one of them passes straight through Khotan, as we call it in English, or Hertian, as you say in Mandarin. Now I was not only interested to see the source of the jade, but I had another reason for wanting to go there. The jade comes out of the white and black jade rivers. And I remember seeing an illustration from an old Chinese encyclopedia about how the jade was collected in this place. You know, in many cultures, things are sometimes associated with male, or female, and jade is associated with the male. And so if you want to attract something that is male, what would you use? You would use a female. And if you really wanted to attract a male, it should be a beautiful female. Naked. And a virgin. And so, the old story went that in this place, in the summer as the snows melted and brought the jade down out of the mountains, naked virgins would go into the rivers to collect the jade. So, 
去搜寻啊和田。So now you know why I wanted to go to this place. 所以为什么我一直想去那个地方看看有没有罗密。Unfortunately, we went there, and all we found was an old man. <laughs> But he did collect jade, and we did buy a piece from this man. And later, I'll tell you another story about this piece. And this is my wife. My, I'm sorry, my daughter and I. <laughs> I. I brought both of the females in my life along the better chance of catching some jade. <laughs> and it was a fascinating place to visit. All these people in the market selling stones. Everyone with a big bottle of water to squirt on the jade to show you the color. 市场上的玉贩子，他们在贩卖的时候，他们手上都有一个喷水器啊，不断的给这个玉上水。And I learned at that time something that I had heard but never really understood. Many years before, I had heard that the river jade was better than the mountain jade. 那么很多东西我是在市场上听到了，但是我从来没有办法证实或了解它的真实的原因。只有到了市场去看了以后，因为我曾经听过说，呃，籽料就是河里面的这个料叫籽料，籽料比山料好。我一直也不知道为什么。I never really understood why, but I learned that because it's just like any other alluvial gemstone, as it gets tumbled, the bad areas break away, leaving behind the best. 虽然我不知道啊、呃、真实的真正原因，但是至少我可以关联到跟一般其他的宝石一样，滚在河里面的冲击矿，因为不断的冲击的结果，不断的滚动，这些坏掉不好的部分呢，裂纹的部分呢，大概都裂掉，都滚走了，都是被去除掉了，所以剩下来的都是比较精华的部分。And in the case of the Hertian jade, also the staining, about thirty percent of the boulders have a natural staining. And so that's very valuable to the carvers. 那么另外一点呢，就是说，像这些籽料呢，在滚动之后，它们在自然界里面所累积下来的这些原天然的这些颜色，上天然里面的这些铁矿所沾上来的颜色，天然的沁色，大概占了百分之三十的比例。而这些沁色的皮呢，在和田的价值上呢，它有这个一个很重要的地位。So the river jade is very valuable compared to the mountain jade. 那么，所以市场上说，籽料比山料还要啊有价值的原因。This is a man we met in Kashgar. 我们在喀什的时候碰到这个男生。And I could almost imagine his wife saying, "Can you go down to the store and get me some jade?" 我看到他这样抱东西，我都在想说，他的老婆是不是派他出去买一颗玉回家 ？Interesting. This is a carving several hundred years before. Of the same scene of a man holding a jade boulder, or in this case, a woman. 对，他这个照片两个对比，你可以看到这个在一千两百年公元的时候刻的这个石头，是不是一个男人被派出去抱一个玉回家 ？And also, you can see the mining of the mountain jade again in a very old carving. 你看这个在一七零零年的时候，在清清朝的时候，一个雕刻物件里面，它所呈现的就是这些矿工在挖山料的时候，在和田山上挖料的时候的一个照片。They would take pieces of wood and soak them in water, and then they would pound the wood into a crack, and when it froze at night, it would widen the crack. And that's how they mined the jade in mountains. 采收的方法一般都是把一根长木材呢泡在水里面。那这个泡水的长木材呢，在找到这个和田的裂缝的地方呢，用力把它敲进这个裂缝，然后放它过夜。那在晚上的时候，因为晚上会结冻、会结冰，然后因为热胀冷缩的原因，到白天的时候热再胀起来的时候，这个裂的部分就裂开来了。他们是用这样的方法来采收这个山料。But remember those pictures I showed you in the market? It was all river jade. Where's the mountain jade? 那我刚刚给各位看的那些玉，在在前几张那个照片所卖的都是籽料呀。那山料在哪里呢 
This is what the mountain jade looks like. And this is how you take mountain jade and turn it into river jade. And so much of the mountain jade gets treated, artificially tumbled, and then they will stain it to make it look like the river jade. And you have to get Adam to come and speak to you sometime, and he can teach you how to tell the difference. It's not easy. The staining, as you see, can be used by the carvers in sometimes beautiful ways. 像这个天然的青色，这种皮啊，经过好的雕刻的创作的话呢，可以增加出很多的一个美感效果跟价值。You know, China has eight thousand years of history of jade.那么，如果回推中国对这个玉石文化，大概已经可以讲到八千年了。From these archaic jades，像这个八千年前的这个最早期的古玉，they even made books. Out of jade, where the pages of the book were carved jade. I'm sure all of you have seen these jade books before. But this is a real book about jade. And at the time this book was printed, it was the most expensive book. Ever produced in the history of humankind. But this book is a book. This book is a book. This book is a book. This book is a book.